so I needed something to heat up my front barn and after months of research I ended up going with the Fisher wood burner now these wood burners were built by Bob Fisher I believe up in Oregon and that was back in the mid to late 70s uh, made out of stain or out of steel which was another kind of perk of what I wanted I, I needed something that would heat up quickly uh, to help heat up this barn now this barn that I have is roughly eight eight to nine hundred square feet 12 foot ceilings and barely any insulation so um, I could have went with different models excuse me different brands I could have went with a uh, cast iron but again the problem with cast iron is they take uh, a lot longer to heat up and I wanted something where I could go out in the morning throw some logs in and heat the barn up pretty quickly now if anyone's actually in the market of looking at some of these stoves uh, I recommend uh, doing some research to make sure this is the right stove for you but um, they have three models that are the single door and it is a uh, baby bear mama bear and papa bear the baby bear I believe can take a 18 inch log and is good to heat up a thousand square feet the mama bear could heat up 1500 square feet I believe it could take around a 22 to 24 inch log and the papa bear could heat up 2000 square feet and take up to a 30 inch log now in the the grandma and grandpa models which what I have um, this is where they added the uh, double door which to me is more decorative it does not actually serve a, a, a function really um, but this one the the grandpa bear what I have here can hold a 24 inch log can heat up 2,000 square feet and the grandma bear I believe it's 1500 square feet as well and I'm not sure about the log size Okay, so we're all ready to fire it up here. Now again, it's important. I did, I did just get this installed, so I'm not gonna have to clean it this year. I went with the double walled uh, stove, stove pipe, and the, the burn indicator on that, it, it really is useless. Those are meant for the single walled pipe because this thing deflects heat so much that um, it's not gonna give you an accurate reading. So I, I just, someone got me that as a gift, so I, I just threw it up there. But uh, another thing, Make sure when you guys are lighting it to get the proper draft going. Um, I usually like to burn some paper, get it going, and get it right back by the stove pipe, or by the chimney, sorry. And you can see it, you can hear it, I don't know if you can, if you can pick it up on the camera, but you can hear the, uh, the air kind of starting to circulate it out. So now that the fire's going pretty good, what, what you're gonna wanna do is adjust the flute. So with this, it is completely open here when it's, when it's vertically, north to south. So what I like to do, I like to turn it about 90 degrees. Go to 90, now that should close it, and then bring it back off a little bit. Now you can see, when I closed it, the smoke started to come out, so you don't want that. You want all the smoke going, obviously, back up uh, the chimney. Okay, so now that the fire's going good, you can go ahead and close the doors. Now with the uh, Fisher models, they will have uh, turn knobs, which, which will uh, control the oxygen flow. So when you get it started, I usually go two complete turns open. Um, just to make sure you're getting the good oxygenation where it's coming in and then getting up the, uh, going up the chimney. Now, if you, if you don't open it up enough, you're not going to get oxygen and you're going to eventually uh, smother out the fire. So it's fully closed. I'm going to do two complete turns. Same with this one. Make sure it's closed and two complete turns open. 
I give it usually about 10 minutes like this, and then I will adjust this back down to either uh, one turn open or a half a turn open. Now this is 5 16 steel, and uh, you could put cast iron uh, Dutch oven on it. You can put a cast iron pan, make some morning coffee. So it does really uh, serve, serve as, a, uh, as a good selling point in my opinion. You can see it's going good. Go ahead and give you guys a peek. I don't know if you could hear that, that air circulating, but um, sounds good. Now you may have to adjust the flute again, just to make sure. Um, the real key point with that is shutting the heat back into the firebox. So you can actually have the, uh, the heat come back into the room. I just grabbed a piece of uh, sheet metal to put behind it. Now this is installed up to code. I believe it's, uh, I want to say 12 inches from the wall, from the corner of the wall. But I did feel, um, I did feel like it was going to get a little too hot like that. So I did put the, um, just bended some sheet metal. And when this thing's fully going, you can, you can touch the sheet metal and it's, and it's not even, I mean, it's a little warm to the touch, but not bad. Okay, YouTube. So it's probably been about 45 minutes. I did end up throwing one more uh, load of wood in it just to kind of heat it up. But, um, yeah, an 800, 900 square feet in here. I could already tell the temperature change all the way in the far back corner. Um, outside temperatures around 27, 28. Inside probably 55, 60. Now I'm guessing. I, I, I haven't had a uh, haven't thought of a thermometer yet, but I will. Um, again, you really cannot beat an old school Fisherwood burner.